everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a Tuesday 10. Um, so Cindy over at Studio Lou is the uh, instigator, the starter of this, the, what do you call it? What am I thinking of? She's the one that's hosting this. Uh, hashtag Tuesday 10. So be sure she does it more regularly than I do. Um, <laughs> Be sure and check out her channel and see what all she's got going on. I decided to do Tuesday 10, kind of like a mini version. So these are my 10 pieces that I pulled out. I just, I was cleaning in my scrap bin and all these little pieces kept hanging around. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a Tuesday 10 and it's gonna be like a mini version. I'll still do use 10 pieces, but these are all mini pieces. So. Uh, this is kind of what I've got that I'm working with. So yeah, there's my 10 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I had this here um, just to kind of keep it all together. But to also give me a base for my thought process is to make some little cluster cards. Um, to use up these images and all that good stuff. So... That was kind of what I was thinking. Um, so let's just jump right into it. My um, my scrap bin is probably not as big as Cindy's, but it is quite large. So um, not that I know how big Cindy's scrap bin is, but she is able to effectively do... Um, some Tuesday 10s, and some, she does a little series on her Patreon about using scraps, and I just think that she's able to do that because she's got a lot of scraps. I do too, I just, I get, um, my scraps overwhelm me, so I just, I want to put them in a box and close them away, and, um, which does no good, I need to use them. I go through them when I'm working on a journal to kind of see if there's anything that I could use. But. Let's get some bases going on and then we'll, <clears throat> we'll see what, what we can work with. Um, I have this base as well, which I probably should have done. Do that. Well, let's see here. Yeah, we'll do that and be on the other side of it. I pulled out a couple of blank pages to to use if I needed some bases. Uh, also from my scrap bin. So this is probably a little more than ten pieces that I'm using. And I am a okay with that. This is obviously the cover of a mixed media little pad. And I'm using, I'm going to keep this little edge on it just for funsies. And so yeah, let's, let's work with this for now. These three. Um, Basically, it'll be just a matter of collage. I'm going to fussy cut this little hummingbird out. The crows are outside squawking. It's a beautiful day out. And um, my doors and windows are open and they are talking about it. I'm sure y'all can hear them. I don't see them out there anywhere, but they're out there somewhere. Don't cut off his little beak. Okay. 
And we have these little guys. Of which I have no idea where it came from. Those crows don't sound like they're having a good time. It sounds like they're fussing at each other big time. Mother Nature take its course. Whatever's going on out there. Whatever they're fussing and fighting about. I don't feel like that. And... edge here and I have um, a little random little sticker that's floating around if any of you guys have been watching my series you probably can guess where this little sticker is from Let's see here. Let's work with this one for a minute. And I think I'm going to trim this down a little bit more and get all the white off of it. thick piece. We're going to try it with glue stick and see what what happens with it. So I had to decide if I like the flowers or the coffee. I don't like any of it at all. I'll just leave it like it is. Okay. 
So I feel like I need another base or let's do this. And then let's cut these into little tags. And then we'll determine from there what's going on with them. I don't normally work small, like with little pit bits and bobs and pieces. Um, A simple little tag there. That's a simple little tag there. Okay. I think I'm liking those. this down and we'll trim it to fit the tag shape. Oh yeah. It's kind of cute. Easily just add this to the top of this tag. Or this to the top of that tag. That would work. Is that a sticker? Nope, it's not a sticker. See if we got some little string or fluke or something for these little tags. Let's see here. That's not big enough for nothing. Sometimes I wonder why I keep the things I keep. <laughs> Again, sometimes I wonder why I keep the things I keep. See what we can work with with there. Using more than 10, 10 pieces of scrap, that's for sure. Let's do a teeny tiny little punch in this.
Okay. Okay. This might be too small, but we'll try it. We can get it to pinch through there. Make our little hole and tuck these through. through, but I think I need some assistance here. Come on. I think I poked my hole too low. So it's having, oh, there it goes. Just enough to give it some bloof. Okay, back to this. piece of book page scrap. We're gonna glue it to this. And trim it down. We can do just a little blurb. I'm going to hit my coffee with a little bit of This is a little, uh, not chipboard, but cardstock piece, decorative. It's got some little shiny on it. Fight with my big corner rounder. Still haven't gotten a new one. For whatever reason, that was cool. 
Cooperative. I'm going to glue this down. Normally I would sew, but we're not sewing today. I should have, though. Flip this over and glue. Glue it down here too. Yeah. And I'm going to to keep it like that and let it dry. I'm going to clip this to kind of just hold that glue in place. Hold that lace in place, I guess. So I'm down to my little hummingbird, and we could be on here. Hmm. A lot going on there, but I kind of like it. This sticker has seen better days for sure. It's been floating around on my desk for a little while. Picking up all the dust and dirt and glitter. See that there's a little strand of glitter, glittery something. <laughs> so I didn't end up using one little bitty piece this little bitty piece here and I'm really kind of okay with that it just didn't go. Although, I will say this. It was on the other that airplane go by. It was on the other piece that had Create on it. So, I did use that piece, per se. Um, so, I'll tuck him back in my, my scraps. Cause, because I used other pieces of scrap. How, how's that for a rule breaking? So we have this card here. I'll let the glue dry on this lace, but it, it'll fluff up a little bit. Little coffee card. And these two little tags. I'm not gonna add any edging or anything like that around them because there's no telling whether where they'll end up. This little create card. There's a writing space there, and then there's writing space there. It can go in like this or that. And then, then this little collage journal card as well. So that's what we have for Tuesday 10. Um, like I said, it's kind of a mini version. I used 10 items plus and um, but they were all mini, little mini items. So um, there you have it.
Thanks for joining me for this hashtag Tuesday 10. Be sure and check out Cindy over at Studio Lou. She has a ton more if you like this kind of concept to grab 10 items from your scraps and just create. And um, she has plenty of those videos to enjoy. So check her out. Um, but that's my take on it. So uh, I, I kind of like these. I'll add these to my ephemera stash and um, we'll go from there. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.